Hello everyone. I just wanted to show you really quickly how to use Nuance Clintrig Clintegrity 360 for coding. So once you're in the VLAB, we we'll go to the Application Launch Center, go down to Nuance Clintegrity, and you'll see the instructions are right there. So if you need your school account, uh, let me know. And the password is HEMA pound sign 21 or hashtag sign 21. So once you click on that link and sign in, you are taken to the Nuance Clintegrity 360 website. So from there, for coding purposes, we want to go to coding. And then here, for inpatient cases, you want to select the patient type of eye for same-day surgeries, ERs, physician, you want to select an O. So today we're going to look at how to do the MSDRGs. So I'm going to hit an I patient. I'm clicking into the first account. So this tells me that it's locked and I cannot save anything, but that's okay because we're going to um, go ahead and delete the codes. These are pre-populated codes. So you can create a new patient and a new encounter, but it's more laborious that way. So I recommend you just come in here, take a case that's already coded, and we're just gonna recode it. So let's just take, that inpatient 38 that we did, I'm just going to enter the codes F43.21. R45.851. F60.7. F10.10. Okay. So you can see my DRD comes up at the top right, right here, DRD 81, depressive neurosis. One thing I want to point out is you can see these two dots, and if you hover over that, it tells you CC that do not impact the DRG. So that is not impacted, or meaning that it doesn't change the DRG. We can add different CCs or MCCs that will change the DRG but I want you to know that those are right there. So let's just give the patient sepsis, for example. Okay, so when I gave the patient sepsis, you can see it's a major comorbidity that does not impact the DRG. So that one didn't change the DRG either. I'm just trying to play around to show you if there is an MCC to change the DRG. Okay, let's try to give the patient a heart attack. I just want to illustrate to you guys how the DRD can change. Okay, that's another MCC that doesn't impact the DRD. And if you have your ICD-10 coding manual, and you go to the tabular beside the codes, it will tell you if it's an MCC or an CC. If 
ads. Another one that doesn't change it. Well, maybe this diagnosis does not um, get to be changed. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this diagnosis. First, let me get rid of this code. So let's give our patient diabetes. And you can see now my DRG has changed to 638. And it tells me my DRG has complications. And it tells me that those complications right here were impacted. Okay, so if I delete this code, the R45851, my DRG should change because now I'm not going to have CC, which is a complication comorbidity. So I've deleted that C, and now my DRG goes to 639. So if we add that back in, that's a good illustration to show you how important it is as coders that we we really capture the most accurate details and that a CC or MCC can impact the DRG, meaning change the DRG, and that changes the reimbursement. So I hope you found this video helpful on how to use Nuance Clintegrity to assign the MSDRGs.